Dear students, today we are going to discuss on the Purum Kinship Organization. The Purum are an old Kuki tribe of Manipur who resides in eastern India near the Myanmar border. They are of Mongoloid stock and speak Tibeto Burman language. They have short to medium stature, yellowish brown skin color, flat face, oblique eyes with epicantic fold. The Purum have been referred by Maclock, Brown, Hodgson, and Shakespeare as people of Manipur. Both Maclock and Brown have, however, mentioned the Purum and Sote as separate entities of the cookie stock. T.C. Das, 1945, of the University of Calcutta, contributed a classical monograph on the Purum under the title, The Purums, an old cookie tribe of Manipur, and this, of late, evoked worldwide academic interest due to the characteristic structural aspect of the Purum society. In his study of the Purum, in 1936, Professor Das located the Purum in four villages, namely Purum Kulen, 40 houses, Purum Tampak, 29 houses, Purum Sangninglong, eight or nine houses, and Purum Zumbang, 12 or 13 houses. The social organization of the Purum, as viewed by Das, are as follows. The Purum society is divided into following five patrilineal ships. They are number one, Marim with four subships, namely Rimpung Chong, Rimkung, Rimkelek, Piling. Number two, Makan with two subships. Kangkung and Makante. Three, Kiang with four subsheaves, namely Zulung, Aihung, Impi, Inte. Four, Tau with four subsheaves, namely Taukung, Taurum, Teju, and Rangsai. Number five, Parva without any subsheaves. But the law of exogamy is not strictly maintained. Gradually, ship exogamy is giving way to subship exogamy. The Purum family is the smallest social unit, having man and his wife and unmarried children. Joint family is rare among the Purum. The constitution of the Purum family is influenced by the laws of inheritance and also by marriage customs. They are patrilocal in residence. Only the youngest son or the only son living with the parents even after marriage inherits and enjoys all the parental property. Father's brother is respected as father. Marriage is an important social aspect within the Purum society. The Purum does not break the endogamous law at tribal level. Clan is exogamous 
and its main social function is to regulate marriages post marital residence is patrilocal but only after a 3 year period of bright service in the home of the wife's father in other word their normative rule of residence can also be described as matri patri local the prescribed marriage partner is mother's brother's daughter side by side with this prescriptive rule there is the proscriptive rule that a man must not marry his father's sister's daughter and it is strictly tabooed thus explains that the rule of mother's brother's daughter marriages is not always and everywhere absolute there may be more than one mother's brother's daughter moreover marriages is allowed in the ship of the mother's brothers that is with a girl who is not the daughter of the maternal uncle but simply a member of the correct generation of his clan as mentioned earlier the main function of the ship is to regulate marriages and some of its functions have been taken over by the sub ships ships are exogamous with one exception found in one family of the kyang ship the ideas of incest have now been transferred in the purum society from the ship to the sub ships marriages within the sub ships is now prohibited the purum had to find spouses from two different ships the boy from one and the girl from another these boys and the girls cannot marry in the same ship this phenomenon is also sufficiently reflected in their kinship terms here in table 1 the proportion of bride donor and bride receiver ships are given girls do not give up their ship names along with marriages but continue to hold it till that purum may marry only in one or more selected ships and such unions between different clans are fixed by traditional customs among the purums unrelated persons of both sexes address one another by a number of definitely fixed terms of address on the basis of marital relationship subsisting between different ships these terms have been borrowed from the ordinary terms of relationship for each man the ships are divided into three groups one his or rather his father's ship two his mother's group of ships or rather the group from which his wife is recruited and three his sister's husband's group of ships that is the group of ships in which his sisters are married in this way we find a tripartite cycle of alliance system as a rule it can be described is a takes wife from b but cannot give wife to b b takes wife from c but cannot give wife to c and c takes wife from a 
but cannot give wife to A. After discussing some of the important aspects of Purum kinship organization, now let us draw the conclusion. The interesting aspect about the Purum social structure is the typical marriage system. The tribe comprises five ships and these ships are organized in such a way that a ship can take bride from one but cannot give bride to the same. This prescription of asymmetrical alliance system along with dyadic principles, guiding social norms and values have rendered the Purums an academic importance. Among the Purums, direct exchange is avoided because the wife givers and the wife receivers stand in hierarchic structure. T.C. Das felt that the ships were hierarchically arranged. The girl retained paternal ship name even after marriage. The patrilineal Purum society has a small number of kinship terms and so even seven or eight kins are grouped under a single term. Purum has been widely discussed and recorded in various anthropological literature and government records during the last decade. Though the people themselves of late desire to identify themselves as Sote. Therefore, by labeling them as Purum Sote, we have given due regard to the people's desire to call themselves as Sote, an academic as well as historical recognition of the group as Purum.